What's up fam? This your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video. I got some news for you Negroes today. Boosie is going off right now. He's mad as hell. He got a bad case of the Twitter fingers and it's all because he has been exposed for snitching. That's right, Boosie Boo is a tattletale, he bit the cheese, he 12, he working with them people. All of the synonyms y'all use for snitching, that's what Boosie is. And I'm happy as hell right now, and I'll tell you why. It's because it proves my point. I told you no snitching code is a myth. Nobody really abides by it. It sounds good to say. It sounds good to say no snitching online. You should never tell. If something happened to you, you should get it back in blood. You should get old street justice. Rappers are telling you guys not to cooperate with the police. Rappers are telling you guys not to snitch. But when something happens to these rappers, the first thing they do is go to the police. The first thing they say they want is criminal charges and civil charges. That's what Boosie said. We all heard the story. His jewelry was stolen. He accused the police of doing it and he hired his own police to investigate this. So he's so good at snitching that he hired the police to arrest the police. Damn, how low can you go? How good of a snitch can you be? And I got the video. So I'm gonna play it for you guys. We're gonna come back and talk about this whole situation. Let's go. Would you, would you still want uh, the DA uh, or uh, someone else to do an investigation in the police department about a bat all of a sudden showing up because of, you know, taking up a million dollars with a jury, that's a serious felony. Yeah, it is. And um, we're sending private investigators down there to get all our witnesses to, to uh, everybody who had. Y'all hear him? He's sending his own private investigators to investigate this matter. He wants criminal charges filed. He wants civil charges filed. And you mean to tell me that's not snitching? If I say I want my friend to get justice, if I say I want my cousin to get justice after being taken out, y'all say I shouldn't tell. Y'all say I should get street justice. I should get it back in blood. So I can't get justice for a homicide, but he can get justice over jewelry. What sense does that make? Jury is materialistic. But y'all guys saying that's all right for him to snitch. That's all right for him to cooperate with the police then. That's all right for him to run to the police to get help about some jewelry. Okay, I got you. Let's go. All the officers, we're getting all the private investigators to go down there, build our case. Uh, this is a criminal case and a civil case. Dang, so Boosie putting cases on people? He want them criminally charged and civilly charged? Dang, that's cold. But that's not snitching, though. And I don't think anything is wrong with what Boosie's doing. I always say that something happened to you. If you feel like a crime has been committed against you, you should cooperate with the police. You should tell. And y'all all told me that ain't how the streets work. That's snitching. That's telling. And Boosie always talking about F12, F the police. You should never cooperate. You should never tell on another person. But when your jury came up missing, you went on the news to do interviews about it. You did a whole expose about it. So that's not snitching. And that's my point. Don't nobody really know what snitching is. How you gonna have a no snitching code without a clear cut definition of a snitch? Because in some instances, somebody will say Boosie is telling. Then you go down the street and ask another person, they say he ain't telling. Me personally, I thought snitching was when you are involved in a crime with somebody, you get caught and then you rat them out as well for a lesser sentence. I didn't know just being a witness to a crime is considered a snitch. If I'm a witness to a crime, if I see somebody mug an old lady, if I see somebody harm somebody, me as a civilian, me as Cut to the Chase TV, I'm telling. If you threaten to harm me, I'm telling. And you should do the same. I ain't uplifting those no snitching code when don't nobody else uplift it. The moment you get behind them bars, the moment you get in the room with the detective, everybody folds. I done seen the best of them fold. I done seen niggas growling at cameras. I done seen dudes with scars all in his arm, tats all on his face. Get in the room with the detective, they fold. So why should I try to uphold it? Jail ain't meant for me. I did eight hours in jail and I'd never do it again. That's right, eight hours was enough for me. Got booked in at 3 a.m. I was out by 11 and I vowed to never go back to jail and I haven't been back since. That's all I needed. I didn't need to bump my head one time. That's all. But anyway, let's get back to the Boosie situation. That video came out after Boosie called Terrence Gangster Williams a rat and called him a snitch and was throwing snitch shots at him on Vlad TV. So Terrence Gangster Williams struck back. He said, I admit that I'm a rat. I admit that I told on my dead friends, but what about this video, Boosie? What about you cooperating with the police and say you want criminal charges after they stole your jewelry? Talk about that. And he has a point. Now everybody want to pick and choose who they call a rat. 
Everybody want to pick and choose what they call snitching. I thought anytime you cooperate with the police to get somebody else arrested, it's snitching. Why y'all not telling Boosie to get his jury back in blood? Why y'all not telling Boosie to use street justice for his jury like y'all telling everybody else? Y'all keep telling Lil Dirt to get street justice, but why y'all not telling Boosie to get street justice when his jury came up missing? It seemed like y'all are just accepting what Boosie do. Y'all are accepting the things Boosie say. Boosie's a 40-year-old man, and he was willing to throw away a relationship with T.I. all because T.I. said he snitched on his dead cousin. That's juvenile. That's that's petty, and be quite frankly, he acted like a petulant child. But let's read these tweets after Boosie got exposed. So Terrence Williams dropped the video, and everybody like, dang, you do got a point. Boosie do kind of look like a tattletale. It do kind of seem like Boosie is telling, and Boosie went on a Twitter tirade. He had a whole meltdown. He's still tweeting as we speak. I'm going to read you some of his tweets, and we're going to talk about this as well. Let's go. Boom. This is Boosie's first tweet. New Orleans should ban this dude. This the worst kind of dude. He a rat, a family snake, and he playing gangster. Well, go in the pen. Don't stay in the pen no more, clown. Loud, laugh out loud. So Boosie is saying he effed the dude while he was locked up. Boosie said he know what's going happen. He got Ken folks in jail. They told him everything about this dude. He said this dude is kind of on the funny side. I'm just telling you what Boosie said. I don't know if it's true or not. And to be quite frankly with you, I don't care. That's how I feel about this whole situation. But let's go to another tweet. Boom. This Boosie's second tweet. You a certified rat. You was in Yazoo getting effed and effing dudes. Look at you on this pic. Boy, you sweet. You make New Orleans look bad. LOL. Now that picture is suspect. What grown man take a picture with another grown man on his lap? I ain't seen that since Michael Jackson had Gary Coleman on his lap. What is Gangsta Williams doing? Y'all dudes in y'all 20s, I wouldn't even take a pic with my son in his lap, in my lap, and he nine. So why would you have another grown man in your lap? That don't make sense at all. He didn't explain it well. I don't know what type of funny games those are, but the point still remains. He exposed Boosie. It's a double standard, and I'm not going to let Boosie get away with it. So now that we know that Boosie will cooperate with the police if a crime is committed against him, can we please stop with all that who's telling, who's snitching, who's 12? The truth is, everybody's telling. Only a select few people will stick to the street code. Only a select few people will stick to the no snitching code. When a crime is committed against you or I, we going to tell. We gon' cooperate. We want justice. And nothing is wrong with that. Y'all keep hollering about street code. Y'all keep hollering about get it back in street justice. Ain't no such thing as street justice. We all got loved ones that been taken out by somebody else and we don't get street justice for them. We go to work. We do our little news interview. We ask for justice like everybody else. Stop with that Superman complex. Ain't nobody getting street justice. But anyway, those are my thoughts on Boosie getting exposed as a rat. But I want to know how you guys feel about this whole situation. So be sure to leave a comment, share this video. I love you guys. Peace.